I put up a poll on Instagram and on my community tab here on YouTube to vote between which tutorial you want to see first, the dandelion puff or the dandelion flower, and it was so close. I am glad that the dandelion flower won because this is the most absolute beginner friendly macrame flower you will ever attempt. It is by far the easiest flower out there. If you can make a pom pom, you can make a dandelion. Don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and prepare all 12 strands of our single strand cotton rope in the color yellow. This project is perfect if you happen to have scrap pieces of yellow rope. Now, depending on how fluffy you want your flower to be, you can add more rope or less, depending on your preferences. And since we have our scissors out, let's go ahead and cut our butcher's twine. And if you don't have butcher's twine, you can actually use a few strands of your yellow. And then we're also gonna go ahead and cut out our green rope as well. Next, with a fine tooth comb, we're gonna go ahead and brush out our yellow rope. Make sure every single strand is perfectly fluffy and brushed out. Now, to compile our flower, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie our butcher's twine out first, and then put our single strand yellow cotton rope right on top of that. And then we're gonna make an X over top of that with our green strands as well. Once you have your funky looking asterisk, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the butcher's twine and we're gonna tie a double overhand knot really, really tight. Now I'm using butcher's twine because it really helps visually see what I'm doing here. But if you use a few strands of your yellow cord, that actually works out a little bit better. Pulling out a few strands of your yellow cord and using that as your butcher's twine instead is a little bit easier to camouflage than the white butcher's twine. At this point, it looks a little bit more like a yellow mustache than a flower. So to fix that, I like to add a little bit of hot glue and then fold my cords over top. That way it really forms that perfect circular pom-pom look. And I also like to give it a final comb just so that everything is all uniform and there's no seams. Now you just need to kind of straighten out the bottom. Um, I like to make sure that the green strands are spaced evenly and then I snip off most of my butcher's twine so that we don't see it later. Tie a small overhand knot right at the end of your 30 inch strand of green cord. Next, make a loop and make sure that your knot end is up at the top. And what we're gonna do is tie a gathering knot around the base of our flower. To tie a gathering knot, all you need to do is wrap your cord around everything and make sure that it's fairly snug. And you wanna wrap your way all the way downwards towards the loop end. And again, make sure you're wrapping this fairly taut because you don't want your gathering knot to slip off the end of your flower. Once you've wrapped it around about five or six times and you're back at your loop, you wanna take your long tail end and thread it through that loop. And then all you have to do next is pull your cord up at the top, making sure that you're hiding your seam end inside underneath your wrapped loops. Then snip off the excess cord of your gathering knot. To hide those ends that are a little bit visible, what I like to do is use my scissors and kind of push them through. Okay, set this aside and get out your wooden skewer. Your skewer is gonna be your stem. At the pointed end, we're gonna add a little bit of hot glue and be careful not to burn yourself. I am speaking from experience here. What you wanna do is take your skewer and you're gonna go ahead and stab it right through the center of your flower. And please use a lot of caution and be mindful where your hand is. I have injured myself that way too. Next, we're gonna add a little bit more hot glue and attach our 60 inch strand of green cord. This is the cord that we're gonna use to wrap all the way down to the base of our stem. The only tricky part here is up at the top where you need to coil it around to blend into your skewer and then carry on wrapping around your skewer all the way down to the bottom. Now 
It should look something like this when you're done. Next, we're gonna fold these green fronds here that are up at the top. We're gonna fold them downward so that we don't end up cutting them. Because next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip off the top of our flower. So with really sharp scissors, you wanna go ahead and give him a haircut. See, now he's really starting to look like a dandelion. Give him a bit of a fluff and then trim around to make sure that it's even all the way around. Then you want to go ahead and trim your little green frond pieces. Are these even called fronds? I am not actually entirely sure. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know. Add the tiniest bit of hot glue and then fold your frond down so that he's facing downwards instead of sticking out. Alrighty, so now let's make a leaf. You will need four strands of green cord at 60 inches in length. Fold two of these strands in half and then you want to place them onto your board. And then what we're going to do is tie a square knot. Take the two outermost cords and we're going to tie our square knot around the two center cords. To tie a square knot you want to make a loop on your left. And then with your right cord, you want to place that behind and through the loop of your left and cinch that all the way up to the top. This is half of your square knot. So to complete the other half, you want to do the same thing, but in opposite. So make a loop on your right, wrap your left cord around and through the loop. Okay, so now we're going to tie another square knot right directly below it. And on a side note, if I'm ever going too fast for you, Feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Once you have your two square knots on there, split your cords in half. And with your third strand of green cord, you want to fold it in half. And then with the loop end, you want to place that behind your first set of two cords. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie a square knot using our new cord. So make a loop on your left. And then with your right, you want to place that behind and through the loop. And then cinch up your slack. And then, of course, repeat on the opposite side. So make a loop on your right. And then with your left, you want to wrap that behind and through the loop. I call these kind of square knots a floating square knot because they're not secure like regular square knots. You can slide them up and down on your filler cord. All right, so with your last strand of green cord, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Next, take the two most outer cords and we're gonna tie another square knot, but this time we're gonna tie it around all the center cords. And I call this technique a gathering square knot. In most macrame, a square knot is a square knot is a square knot. It doesn't matter how you're tying them, it's always gonna be a square knot. However, I like to give mine a little bit more of a descriptive name because it helps me teach and I think it helps other people learn as well. Anyways, carrying on, we're gonna tie two square knots next to each other and then alternate by tying a giant gathering square knot and then splitting it in half and tying two square knots followed by a gathering square knot and we're gonna repeat this all the way down to the bottom. Now you can make this leaf as long or as short as you like, but once you get down to the very bottom, what you need to do is make sure that you end off with two square knots. Now I'm only gonna make one leaf for my flower. However, you can make as many leaves as you like. In fact, I think typically dandelions usually have several leaves in the clump. Okay, next we're gonna cut off all the center cords, leaving the outer cords. We're gonna secure it with hot glue. And while the hot glue is still hot, we're gonna attach it onto our stem by tying another square knot using the two outer cords. And when you tie this square knot, you wanna make sure that it's really tight onto your stem. Once you have your first square knot on there, we're gonna go ahead and tie a second square knot. This just really helps make sure that it's secure right onto our stem.
Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue and then wrap just a little bit of our cord around our stem and then snip off the excess. And then I'm gonna repeat to the other side of our cord by adding a little bit of hot glue, but this time I'm gonna wrap all the way down to the base of our stem. Once we reach the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and snip off the ends and secure it with more hot glue. Now make sure you are subscribed because next week we're gonna make that dandelion puff you see in the background. But in the meantime, feel free to check out my macrame flower playlist. I have a whole series dedicated to macrame flowers that I think you'll enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.